What up my champions in training, Remus here, on Fire and Fighting, the channel where we talk boxing, philosophy, psychology and motivation. The topic of today's video is taking one step at a time. What does this mean? Well, let's look at the example of Sugar Ray Robinson, the, the, the creator, the founder of the pound for pound title. It was back in the 50s, um, after Sugar Ray had retired for the first time, he was coming, making a comeback. I believe it was a f against a fellow named John Rindon. Now in that training camp, of course, Sugar Ray, having been from the um, sport for a, a long time, he uh, he didn't have it in him. He didn't have his skill. It, it wasn't internalized at that particular time and he had to get it back. So when he was in the gym, he was trying his jab, his, his, his timing was off, his rhythm wasn't there, his balance was a bit off. Um, and the prime reason he said at the time was that he was trying to get it all back. He was trying to be in touch with everything he, he wanted to do, rather than actually systematically breaking it down, executing one skill, mastering one thing at a time. It was actually his wife, I believe her name was Edna May. She looked at, she looked at him and said, you're not doing all the things that you're supposed to. Just take it, just slow down, be patient. Take it one step at a time. He done that and what happened? He said instantly he started, um, the quality of his training started to go up and he started to eventually master all those skills that he, wa he wanted to get back. What can we take from this? If Sugar Ray, the founder, the founder and CEO of the pound for pound title has to take, has to take it one step at a time, then no doubt you do too. What does this mean for you? Now, it doesn't matter if we are at beginner, intermediate or advanced right you need to have that desired state or you, you need to have that end goal that you want to get to right but you can't you can't leap it you can't fast forward you need to take your time master one thing at a time you take the smallest possible thing that's actionable and then you build on that so say for example you're a big beginner and you want to you just want to be a boxer rather than thinking about the end goal which is oh, all the glory world champion blah 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 just go to the gym that's the first step first action build on that if you're an intermediate who wants to maybe you want to get a good jab or get a good lead hand you might have all the things in your head oh, i can do this that that all the different functions rather than just focusing on one thing at a time if you're an advanced guy you need to do more things that are more subtle and but which actually make a big difference and rather than trying to do it all at one time and implement all different skill sets in, you know, maybe it's inside game, outside game, mid range. He's trying to do all these things rather than just mastering one thing at a time. So this is what I would say to you. There's a quote that uh, the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. So that's what we, what we have to do. Take one step and then another step and it will eventually will come. But take one step, make sure you appreciate that step for what it is. Make sure you take it all in, make sure that you're creating a solid foundation until you get to your <laughs> until you get to your desired destination i hope that helped you in some way if it did like share subscribe and i hope to see you in the next video that is remus on fire and fighting signing out